Hi, I'd like to demonstrate how SharePoint can be used as a very efficient and flexible means for providing SAP transactional capabilities to, to users in a very dynamic, intuitive, familiar fashion. So what we're looking at here is a, um, a composite SharePoint screen with a whole range of web parts and that access combination of SAP and non-SAP information, transaction sources, documents, unstructured documents and external website feeds. Uh, what, I'll, what I'll quickly do is flick over to uh, PowerPoint and just discuss a typical maintenance management scenario that might happen in, in, um, in the real world. Typically someone might uh, be walking around a plant and see a uh, problem. They'd have to determine what piece of equipment it is that's uh, it's in fact got a problem. Once they've done that, they'd, they'd log on to uh, uh, or notify the right person who would in turn log on to SAP and create some form of a, an SAP notification. The maintenance planner might um, have a look at some KPIs associated with that plant or that type of uh, equipment. They might look at some of the history for that specific piece of equipment to see what breakdowns and notifications and, and, and repair work has been done recently when the next um, yeah, planned maintenance work might uh, might be scheduled. And they would then plan and execute or, or schedule a, um, a maintenance work request or a maintenance work order. There'd be some form of, of um, accessing of documentation, be it online documentation or be it looking through uh, hard copies, um, filing cabinets or you know, assembly instructions, wiring, wiring diagrams and the like. You'd probably have to go and browse some, um, some spare suppliers. Uh, you're probably going to order some new parts and ultimately you're going to go and schedule some internal resources to go and um, sort the problem out. So in SAP, these are sort of the, the typical steps and transactions um, you might follow to process that um, that end-to-end -end transaction in, in SAP. And as you can see, it's, it, you know, it's quite a, a complex list of disparate transactions and it still requires a, a fairly a high degree of, of um, knowledge and experience and capability on the part of the maintenance um, practitioner. So um, what I'll do is I'll flick over to um, this uh, SharePoint workspace and I'm showing you a few different views of, of uh, how we can bring all of that information, transactions, uh, document view, KPI view, all, all in the one spot to provide your maintenance planner with um, on the one side a very complete set of information pertaining to that piece of um, to that problem that piece of equipment and on the other side a set of actions that are um, are uh, easy to uh, execute in um, with respect to repairing that that issue so firstly I'll just show you a, a simple search facility I can um, you know look for a description of of you know a equipment that say contains the word um, pump and run that what it'll do is it going back to SAP in real time and it's going to return a list of information associated with um, equipments with the word pump in them so I don't need to know anything about SAP I don't need to um, be able to log on to the SAP GUI but I can actually interact with my SAP system system by pulling out um, or making access to equipment that have the word pump in them with uh, the necessary um, information um, displayed in the simple SharePoint list and the ability to actually go into the transaction directly from this list. So that's just a simple little example of how we can um, use BDC function in SharePoint to access SAP information. Now what we've got here is another uh, SharePoint list. Here what we do is we, we've allowed um, people to put issues into this list. They can either be manually manually um, entered or what we've got is we've got the ability to, for people to send emails just through you know, your mail browser of a problem. Typically someone might see a, a problem in, on site walking around. They're going to they're gonna have a look at the um, issue. They might take a photograph of the problem and attach the photograph to the email and uh, email this um, issue to uh, administrator at uh, you know at the plant and they'll appear in my uh, in, in this issues list what we're talking about in terms of uh, the term actionable intelligence and I'll probably use that term a few times is the ability simply from an issue or from a SharePoint list to be able to uh, insert a custom action this is what we're talking about making um, uh, SharePoint intelligence actionable not only providing you the right information at the right time in the right format but going one step further by uh, by providing for you simple SAP actions that can go and do something so over here from a button and it'll go and create an SAP notification transaction 
for me by stripping out the words out of the uh, email itself, attaching the, 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 the photograph that I've taken and uh, creating a notification transaction here shows me a list of SAP notification transactions I can refresh by a specific date range if I if I would like uh, what I'd like to show is the um, interdependency that we can set up between um, between these web parts so for this web, this notification that I've selected um, based on um, this piece of equipment uh, the web part is showing me this web part is showing me a list of unstructured documents these happen to be word documents for that piece of equipment assembly instruction supply contracts for that piece of equipment this one uh, leverages Excel services to provide a high level list of um, maintenance KPIs or performance KPIs for this piece of equipment if I select a different notification therefore a different piece of equipment we'll see the um, the, the the unstructured documents that are, uh, are different they've been updated um, I can actually go into those documents if I would like and uh, the KPI information uh, showing me breakdown information for that piece of equipment has also been updated um, if another view of the same information is um, is is shown over here where I again provide the uh, the SharePoint list of notifications by date range but what we've got over here is for the um, particular notification that I've selected we render the structural hierarchy of the equipment function location structure and directly from within SharePoint we provide the ability to be able to interact with that hierarchy quite easy to add in additional information within this hierarchy could be a, a graphical um, uh, uh, traffic light system of of um, health for instance of that of that piece of equipment here we're also showing a range of uh, related documents that are on our on our uh, system and suppliers for that piece of equipment um, very very easy to find all that information at the right spot at the right time a common complaint or common frustration we get from from users from SAP users be it new users or, or old yeah people have been using the system for quite some time is that there's a lot of information in SAP but it's often very hard to find the information when you need it um, so what we're trying to do with SharePoint is not recreate anything if we do we need to go into the uh, into a transaction we can just um, click a notification number for instance in SharePoint and we just fire off the HTML GUI and we can interact with that SAP transaction um, like we'd be familiar with but what we're trying to do is just provide in the one plus information transactions documents SAP and non SAP transactions um, and and the ability to search for information all in the one spot uh, without to eliminate and you know, search multiple systems log on to multiple systems when trying to deal with a problem IQX business solutions has a range of role-based um, workspaces or intuitive workspaces as, as, as we call them um, that we can implement in a template form uh, we have a range of SharePoint InfoPath forms that drive a range of SAP processes like purchase order creation, or expense submission, or travel requests, th those sorts of people centric um, processes, um, and, and a range of other solutions that really leverage Microsoft tools to, um, to improve the way you interact with your SAP system. Please visit our website. We'd love to uh, speak with you sometime. Thank you.